Hello, and welcome to the Gallery Spotlight Series. My name is Byron Black. I'm an artist, designer, and educator from Irving, Texas. This week, we are featuring the exhibition Ex Cathedra, currently on display through November 12th in the Focus Gallery at the Irving Art Center. You can still see this exhibition even after it closes on the website. I've been exhibiting art since the early 1990s and teaching studio and digital art for over 25 years at Dallas College. I'd like to talk today about the piece in the exhibition titled Ceremonial Figure Number no. 5, a tall wooden chair construction that I created in early 2022. I've always loved tribal sculpture from ancient Celtic, archaic Greek, African, Oceanic, and other cultures from around the world. Those ceremonial works have always seemed so powerful to me, even outside of their ritual use, they retain such a strength of presence. You can literally feel their aura when you encounter them. I'm also fascinated with chairs. Uh, for such a simple, functional object, there seems to be an infinite variety of types and styles of chairs. Because of their function of supporting the human body, they have human features like legs, arms, backs, feet, etc. So in this series of sculptures, I'm trying to combine the everyday chair with the power and presence of totemic figures. My hope is that they come across as having a serious and humorous tone simultaneously. A few years ago, I was invited by a good friend of mine, artist Harry Stone, to participate in an exhibition of art inspired by chairs. I thought to myself, finally, I'll get to make chair art. Uh, I knew I wanted to explore the subject in three dimensions, so I set about looking for chairs that I could transform into sculptures, many of which I find placed on the curb on trash day. Recycling uh, is good and free art supplies are great, right? Uh, initially, I was wanting to make freestanding sculptures, uh, pieces that could be viewed in the round. However, when I disassembled the first chair and laid the pieces out on the ground, I had an epiphany that I could make a seated chair appear to stand up. So I reassembled it in the form of a standing figure and hung it on the wall like a painting. The resulting works, again, intended to be uh, an echo of ritual objects, are alive with power, magic, and more than a little bit of humor. Uh, I chose this particular ch uh, chair sculpture to present today because it was the greatest challenge of the series to make. The original chair had been discarded in my neighborhood, and though the upholstery was a little worse for wear, it, it had a great shape. It was originally a 60s tufted barrel chair, and man, was it well made. Um, it took a lot of time and effort to disassemble it, uh, and once it was disassembled, I had an equally difficult time trying to find its new compositional structure. Uh, I finally settled on using the curved back as a large head shape, and the other elements soon fell into place. Uh, the springs that pre previously supported the seat cushion are now arranged as anatomical cardinal points, north, south, east, west. I tried to leave as many of the blemishes and scars on the sculpture to convey a feeling of age, soul, and evidence of the struggles of a long life of service, first as a chair and now as a guardian and protector. I invite you to come and view this piece and many more of my sculptures at the Irving Art Center through November 12th. While you're here, check out the other galleries full of great works of art. Thank you for joining me today. Visit again soon for the next Gallery Spotlight video.